Oh yeah, the Golden Spur. So, Tokyo is a massive, massive city. The biggest city in the world. And there are so many places in there that you could live your, there your whole life and not see all of it. Uh, unfortunately, I only was there for two weeks. But uh, one of the places that I was there that I saw a lot of, uh, because I was staying there, was Sumida City. Now, Sumida is one of the more suburban areas for the most part of Tokyo, uh, with very few attractions outside of the uh, Tokyo Skytree and the riverfront. Uh, but to me, that was the most beautiful part of it, was the uh, suburban aspect. Now, I come from a small town in the US, in the Midwest, in the United States, uh, so to go to the largest city on the planet and see how the average person lives there uh, was amazing. This is the area you'll see a lot of small mom and pop shops propped up. Uh, you know, this is. It's really hard to kind of capture the true uh, beauty of it uh, for somebody without just showing you. So I'll shut up for a little bit and show you a little bit of the footage. Truly, biking around Sumido was some of my best times and most relaxing times in Tokyo. Uh, very bike-friendly city, you can get around anywhere you want. There's usually minimal foot traffic, minimal traffic in general with cars. Uh, but uh, let's move on to the actual attraction there, one of the reasons why most tourists will end up going there, the Tokyo Skytree. So, as I mentioned, the Tokyo Skytree is kind of the big tourist attraction of the area. Uh, I went there with my friend Jojo on the last day there. Uh, 
one of my favorite areas there was actually the Kirby Cafe, which I didn't get to eat at, but as you can see here, uh, I really enjoyed posing with the little Waddle Dee and the little Kirby Chef outside. Uh, here's a little bit of the menu here if you're interested in going and checking it out. Uh, but the Sky Tree has a lot more than just Kirby Cafe. I, as you can guess, I'm a bit of a Kirby nerd. Uh, there also is a bunch of other shops, a bunch of other food courts inside. Uh, it's a, basically a big shopping mall in the lower levels. And to get to the upper level to go up into the Sky Tree, uh, it's actually around 30 bucks, which unfortunately I didn't get to do. But uh, here's some shots from the top. Lastly, there's the most beautiful and scenic riverfront in Sumida. Uh, plenty of areas there that I was able to just bike on and enjoy my time even though the weather was a little chilly. Uh, you gotta be careful though, as there is some areas along the Sumida River that you're not allowed to bike on. Most people there, of course, in typical Japanese fashion, won't stop you and tell you because, you know, you're a foreigner. Uh, but be mindful of the bike signs. If you see a bike sign somewhere, uh, and you're not really sure if you're allowed to bike there, just assume you're not allowed to bike there. The riverfront leads to a bridge crossing into Asakusa, the other area I'm going to talk about. But lastly, I'd like to show you a very beautiful park I discovered right next to that bridge. Oh yeah, the golden sperm. Uh, Sumida is great because it has the golden sperm on the black box right next to the riverfront. It's beautiful. I wish I actually knew what the hell that was and I wasn't just calling it the golden sperm. But if you see the golden sperm, you know you're in Sumida. Say hi for the camera, little pidgeys. You guys are everywhere in this city. Jeez. <laughs>